Hey everybody, Ann here, sitting out in front of the chicken yard. It's actually in the evening time, but I got something on my mind, so I'm going to share it with you. Oh, I don't know, about a week ago, I did a video called Words, and it was me reading the entire book of James. And uh, in it, it says one thing. It says that you no human can tame the tongue of another human. However, there's one thing that I have learned in my life through interacting with people. And that is, if you don't set boundaries, and if you don't tell people that what they've just said, or how they've treated you, or whatever, if you don't let them know, you're going to become a doormat. And I've had, you know, a lot of people in my life where I didn't have the courage to speak out and say, nope. That hurts my feelings. You shouldn't say that to me. You know, fr family, friends, various different people. Um, and I, I kind of didn't want to make waves because, you know, I just wanted every, everybody to be happy. Well, here's the thing. If you don't do that, and if you don't speak up for yourself, and if you don't let people know that what they've just said has hurt you, you will go through an entire life of people talking to you like you're a doormat. You will spend your life placating other people and no one will ever, ever placate you. So what you've got to do is you can't tame the tongue of another person, but you can set boundaries. And doing this YouTube thing, you know, especially on homesteading channels. I watch a lot of homesteading channels, and let me just tell you one thing, folks. You know, I'm just a fledgling homesteader, so I'm just kind of getting started. But um, I think people think that I'm stupid sometimes, and that I don't know things, or I don't research things. Um, and so, you know, there's a lot of people who come into my comment section and make very well thought out, kind and concerned and helpful comments. And those are the kind of people that I appreciate because you know they've done it. You've seen them do it and they and you know they're going to keep doing it. But then you got these people coming down into your comment section saying things like, you should do this, you should do that. Heck, I've got one person who I addressed recently um, and I'm going to start addressing these people more frequently who, who from the very first time the individual came on to my channel started harping about my insulation. That's all they wanted to know. When are you going to get your insulation done? When are you going to do your walls? You know, over and over, almost every comment they've made has been related to this. And you know what? I'm on a budget, folks. I will get the insulation done when I get it done, when I can afford to, when I have the energy. So y'all don't have to worry. I'm not freezing inside that tiny house right now. In fact, it's um, quite comfortable. But this this one individual, that's, you know, there has been maybe one or two comments that the individual has made that has not been related to harping on me about my insulation. You know, and it's like, they'll say, you know, your your house would be much warmer if you had insulation. You know, and, and, and they make the comments on, you know, a, a totally unrelated video. I mean, it's just like, where did that come from? So, just, just stop it on the insulation. I'm going to delete your comments, okay? I'll get it done when I get it done. So, if you make one single reference to, I should be doing things quicker or faster or, or you know, gosh, you, you should have walls. Or, I will get it done when I get it done, okay? I don't even know if you're well-meaning anymore. You know, I really question that. So, back to the Homesteaders channel. I have watched a lot of homesteading channels, and you would think that that would kind of create a community where people care about each other. Well, the homesteaders care about each other. 
but not all the people in the comment section do. And many times the people who make comments on these homesteading channels aren't even homesteaders. They've never done it. They've never lit off, lived off grid. They've never built a chicken coop. They've never, you know, built a a fireplace or, you know, any anything inside their homes. But they're going to step up and they're going to tell you how to do it. These are the people I don't want on my channel. I don't want you. Unsubscribe, go. Just go somewhere else because I don't want you. You know, I want people who are out doing the same kinds of things that I'm doing. And the way that I do it, it is not all shiny, happy, you know, glorious. You know, inside that tiny cabin, it's not going to be white. <laughs> all right? It's not going to be, you know, polished. It's not going to look like a brand new, fantastic, wonderful, you know, cabin on the inside. It's going to be very primitive. It's going to be very rustic. And that's the way that I want it. I can't stand bright lights anyhow. I get photophobic and, you know, it hurts my eyes and whatnot. <laughs> Anyhow, so you people who are making these nasty comments on people's homesteading channels, y'all need to stop. You need to think about what you're saying because it is hard work doing this stuff. And it's especially hard work being a woman and doing it all by yourself. Now, I'm not complaining because I knew what I was getting into when I started all of this. God, you can't even see my face. Um, so I'm not, I'm not complaining about that. But I, I get things done in my own time with resources that I have, with the abilities that my body will allow me. So when you go on to people's homesteading channels and you start telling them, you should do this, you should do that, have you ever done it? Have you ever built out a tiny house yourself? Have you? Have you ever installed a wood-burning stove? Have you ever lit a fire in a wood-burning stove? I bet you haven't. You know, and I'm not addressing the people who have come onto my channel and have left helpful, kind, you know, informative um, suggestions. I'm not talking about you guys because I know you know what you're talking about. But you got these people who, you know, you don't know. <sighs> sometimes, sometimes some people should never leave the sidewalk. And I'm talking to you you kind of people that should never leave the sidewalk. Oh, you shouldn't do this. You're going to set your house on fire or whatever. No, y'all just need to leave my channel because it, 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 the, some of the things that I do is probably going to freak you out and you're not going to be able to handle it. So you need to think about the words that you use and what are your, what are your motivations for using them? And so when you go on these different homesteading channels and you're giving them critique and you're saying you shouldn't do this or you should do that or why are you doing this or why, you know, you need to think about all of the facts, you know, you need to think about everything, you know, the size of the house, the size of the wood burning stove, the, the climate in which the person is living whatever. There's so many different factors that you don't know or, or you've just chosen to ignore. Many times people leave comments on my videos that um, it's very clear that they have not watched the whole video. And, you know, sometimes I just kind of let it go. Most of the time I do. But sometimes, you know what, I, I, I have decided that I am going to start facing you people down. You, like 1% of the people that leave comments on channels such as mine. I'm going to start letting you know how I feel. And this is my way of setting boundaries because I will not be your doormat. I will not be anyone's doormat anymore. I'm going to let you know how your comment was perceived by me and why I thought it was hurtful or unhelpful or mean-spirited or whatever. So you can expect that from this channel going forward. And if this makes you uncomfortable, then you need to leave. I suspect that once I start doing this, I will weed out yet more negative Nancys. Okay? Debbie Downers. I, I don't want you on my channel. I want you to just evaporate from the internet. Because I've seen you all over homesteading channels. I've seen you everywhere and I don't know what's wrong in your life that you feel you need to criticize people and how they do things and and what they have or what they don't have. It's just reprehensible. So yeah, 
sorry about that. My camera was running out of storage space and I had to transfer it transferred over to the SD card. So anyhow, going forward, I will start addressing some of you people who are leaving these little nasty negs, I call them negs, uh, on my channel. I don't know. I may go out to some of the other channels and if I come across you saying something negative to them too, I might address you there too. It's not like I'm on a crusade. No. Well, maybe, maybe I am on a crusade. Maybe I need to make it my crusade to make the internet, at least the homesteading internet community, a little bit nicer and a little bit kinder. Because y y honestly, folks, we all need to be kinder and nicer and warmer and more genuine to people instead of saying, you need to do this, you need to do that. Think about the different variables involved and whether or not your idea of how things should be done is actually, you know, a good idea for that one individual. Anyhow, this has been a rant. You know, I might lose some subscribers. I, I don't care because I know that the truly good, genuine, kind people will stay. And the little snowflake, pansy type people who don't like having people tell them no or stop that or don't talk to me that way, they're going to leave. And I want them to. I want you to leave. If you can't be kind, if your comments can't be kind, if they can't be useful, and if they aren't truthful, then I want you to leave. All right, that's all I got for y'all today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.